I V M. Hello and welcome to the Habit Coach Podcast, the bite-sized podcast filled with quick and easy actionable habits. Remember, great habits create that awesome life. I am Ashton Doctor, your Habit Coach. And today's fun fact of the day has to do with Ayurveda. Did you know that according to Ayurveda, the tongue is the window to the digestive system. The tongue is the starting point and very much an important part of your digestive system. The digestive system extends for a further 30 feet and is out of sight. The tongue can tell us a lot about what's going on far away in our gut. Things like bacteria build up or the kind of enzymes being produced can be decoded from just looking at the tongue. We only think of the tongue as the center for taste. However, it has many, many different roles. It acts as a physical grinding machine. It checks what the chemical composition of the food is and commands the body to release the right kinds of enzymes. Hence, it is very important for us to keep our tongue healthy and working at its best. When was the last time you stuck out your tongue and evaluated it? Does it look pink, red or pale? Does it have cracks on it? Can you see pores? Is there a white coating on it? Is the coating thick or thin, spotty or smooth? All these are important parameters to evaluate your tongue by. And we should spend one minute every day to just take a quick look at our tongue. It's okay if you don't understand what you see, but you will soon eventually start seeing correlations with your health. And one of the key ways in which Ayurvedic traditions evaluate the tongue is by the build-up that forms on it, that white goop. So according to Ayurveda, a good way to keep your tongue healthy is to scrape it clean. What this does is that it removes all the unwanted bacteria that reside on the top of your tongue. There are many different versions of the tongue scraper that exist. Some are stainless steel pieces that are bent in a U-shape. Others are made of plastic and in the shape of a hollow spoon. I have personally tried all the various kinds and I've settled on the traditional stainless steel version of the tongue scraper. And at this point, you must be wondering, why use anything this fancy? Why not just take your same toothbrush and run it over your tongue? But the problem is that when you brush your tongue, you are redistributing the bacteria and pushing it further into the tongue. You're not actually getting rid of it. When you do the scraping, you are physically pulling the bacteria out, physically cleaning away all that gunk. And much of these bacteria actually cause bad breath. Hence, tongue scraping can help you remove this bacteria and improve your mouth's smell. And this is a very embarrassing situation and most of us are fearful of it. Cleaning a tongue can also improve your ability to taste. It increases the sensitivity to flavors. Hence, can help with overeating or help with cravings. Scraping can help increase your overall immune function. It does this by cleaning up your first line of defense for the digestive system, your tongue. So the way you do this is scrape your tongue every time you brush your teeth. Scrape the tongue before you brush your teeth and start by rinsing your mouth with water. Then scrape as far back as you can manage without gagging. Some people find it very uncomfortable starting all the way back So start scraping your tongue from the middle or anywhere that you feel comfortable. Then, slowly, over time, you can begin exploring deeper. After every run of the scraper, wash it and scrape again. Do this five to six times or till you feel that your tongue is clean. Now, you can brush your teeth and feel good that your oral hygiene has just leveled up. So your simple habit for a cleaner tongue starts with buying a tongue scraper. You get them at most shops that sell toothbrushes or you can buy them online from Amazon. Then I want you to keep the tongue scraper right next to your toothbrush. Clean up all the other dental products or distractions that you're not using so that the scraper does not get lost in the mix. Every morning, as you reach for your toothbrush, stop and pick up the scraper instead. The cue is the toothbrush and lying next to it, the tongue scraper. Don't hide it away somewhere keep it out prominently. Dental and gut health is important. This inexpensive and powerful habit will help you achieve both. So start these habits and share with us your progress using the hashtag TheHabitCoach. If you like this podcast, don't forget to check out other interesting podcasts on the IVM network. 
You can listen to us on the IVM Podcast app or ivmpodcast.com. You can also follow us on social media. We are at IVM Podcasts on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to reach out to me, I am Ashtin Doc on Twitter and Instagram. You can find lots more information on my website, awesome180.com or check out different content on my YouTube channel called AWESOME180. That's Awesome 180. In this time, we are going to be a podcast. The name is Football Should Ball. Presenting Football Should Ball. A show about three friends discussing our favorite game over a beer. Sometimes three, maybe even five. Hi, I'm Shiva and with me are my two sidekicks, Gaurav Sapre and Kartik Ayer. Sidekick? You mean like Batman's Robin or Van Persie Robin? No, I mean like Alexis Sanchez, but with a little more skill than just playing the piano. Ha, just shows how the best players at Arsenal are mere bench warmers at United. Oh, thank you Ayer, but you're a Fulham supporter. So whenever you say anything to support me, I question my beliefs. Just like how Griezmann would say, Ek bar mein jo decision le liya, to main apne aap ki bhi nahi sunta. Banter aside, we will talk match reports, transfer rumors, top controversies, fantasy football picks and so much more. So grab a beer and tune in to Football Should Ball every Wednesday on the IVM Podcast app, website or wherever you get your podcasts. Look, up in the internet, it's a meme. No, it's a cat video. No, it's the Geek Fruit Podcast. That's right. We interrupt this riveting broadcast to tell you about our show, The Geek Fruit Podcast, where Tejas, Dinkar, and I, Jishnu, talk about everything in pop culture, including DC, Marvel, Star Wars, Netflix, and everything in between. You know how your friends hate it when you ramble about some nerdy crap and you just want somebody to listen to you? Well, sorry, there's nothing we can do about that, but come listen to us ramble and it'll almost be like the real thing. Kind of. Listen to new episodes of the Geek Fruit Podcast every Monday and the Geek Fruit Bulletin every Thursday on iTunes, Google Podcasts, the IVM app, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Happy listening, you nerds.